What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, we are in the truck today. We actually just got to the property. And what are we gonna do today, John? Today, we are gonna clear out a path to get to the big barn. We already have a path made whenever we took the lift in there, but it's been several months, so it's probably grown up. And we just wanna make it a little bit bigger because we got the big trailer. So it just make it a lot easier if we go ahead and just make a nice little path until we can get like a bobcat and just clear out the whole thing. So yeah, we're gonna go do that. Gonna be, oh, no, I say it's gonna be a kind of hot day today. I mean, it's it's like what low 60s, but yeah, like straight sun, hot. no clouds, getting yeah. to be Florida weather. So it'll be good. We're gonna go do that, and then hopefully, if everything works out, start doing some work and cleaning up underneath the barn. So yep. should be a productive day. We're gonna get with it. So I swear we know what we're doing, but uh, just got here and I have no idea when that tire blew. And I feel really stupid because we have a blown tire and didn't even know, but it was really bad and dry rotted and cracked. We actually aired it up before we left. So guess we'll be buying a new tire, but whatevs. Guys, I can't even tell you how excited I am right now because this is like smooth concrete. I mean, whew, for so long, you've seen me so far on the channel, but years before that, I've been working in mud and gravel and broken concrete that my creeper won't roll on and my jack won't roll on and my engine hoist, and my engine stand and everything won't roll on. And we got smooth concrete. Show them how smooth that concrete is, Sean. Almost as smooth as me. Mm. But yeah, your boy came through. Dude, it's... Not really not me, but, you know, my parents and my grandparents. Hear that? Daddy's money. Call it what you will, but I'm putting in the work. We are putting in the work to make this thing exactly what we need it to be. We're so, honestly so grateful and so stoked. Like, like oh. we've, we've been talking about this for two, two years now. Yeah. And it's finally happened to where, like, Duncan was able to move down. And it's just like, it's so, it's such a, like, I grew up here, guys. You know, like, I don't know 
if you understand this, but like I, from the age of six years old, I worked on this farm. I grew up here with my dad. I mean, it's just rode four wheelers, rode dirt bikes. Like this is, this is how everything started for me. So to be able to get back here, you know, and do this and not only that, but just like build a future for my kids to do the same things I did. I'm just freaking excited about it. And I just can't wait for you guys to see how awesome this is and just how much aggression we have to really just make awesome content for you guys out here at this farm. Cause it's just absolutely wonderful. It's amazing. We're so stoked. It's awesome. It's beautiful, everything. And honestly, it's like, you know, not it's, not, it's daddy's money, whatever you want to say, but like it's not being used and I'm just, Oh, I'm grateful. Trevor, uh, my buddy Trevor Davis, go check out his channel. It's TDC Hot Rods. Super awesome. He does incredible work. Um, but Trevor, if you're watching this, you asked what size this was, and I replied that it was like 40 by 20. It's 60 by 25. It's like so much bigger it's, than we it's realized. Huge. So It's huge. Absolutely huge. It's huge, okay? Huge. huge. So we're going to set the lift up. We're gonna lift the tractor up, no, but we're gonna set the lift up over here. Obviously workspace, we got air hard plumbed. Right here we got a big 60 gallon air compressor on the other side of the wall. We're gonna throw a spool up there. One thing that I will be doing very soon is I will be investing in a bunch, and I mean a bunch of LED lights for the roof. And this place is gonna be so bright so that we can bring you content at night in the evening and in the morning and whenever so we're not restricted with light like i always have been it'd be sick so yeah. we're gonna get back to it and hopefully take care of a lot of this yeah oh also we had to uh did you did you show them the tire oh yeah i showed them the show tire. tire okay so we found a new tire exactly the same size we need with the exact wheel we need so we're probably gonna throw that back on the trailer in a bit so that was like super awesome because that means we don't have to go buy a new tire or anything. So. Heck yeah. All right. So. We just got this done, as you saw, looking a billion times better. Now we're gonna go throw a spare tire sitting right over there, on the trailer sitting right over there, and probably drop the trailer, and hopefully if we're lucky, we're gonna hook up to that camper right there and pull it out of the way, so. Right, sound good? Yes. Let's get with it. that tire on we're ready to go we were gonna try and move that camper but there's some guys that hunt on this property right now and they're here so we didn't want to bother them so yep so hopefully in the next couple days we can get back out here and do some more work but yeah we're honestly i'm happy with the progress that we made there's i mean it doesn't look like a whole lot but there is just so much stuff so for you know the few hours we've been at it it's really not bad and we've been you know reminiscing on a lot and joking on a lot and we really haven't been like hitting it full on but it was just really good like we got a ton done for what we did do but next video we're gonna try to get the tractor going I've got the new starter for it I got a battery for it so hopefully it just cranks right up and then we can start bush hogging and stuff but 
we'll see how it goes also next video i'm gonna cut that tree down also can't cut it because the hunters hopefully move that camper and yeah and then uh we'll be setting the lift up and the bugs getting brought over here get some power hooked up get a lot of stuff done thank you guys so much for watching today's video we hope you enjoyed it and we can't wait to see you in the next one stay hungry stay humble stay motivated bye